Sometimes you need a nice, easy win, and that's what the Sixers enjoyed tonight, courtesy of the Wizards. Yeah, they were shorthanded, but it didn't matter when you got Joel Embiid on the course. We welcome you here to Sixers Post Game Live, brought to you by Cure Auto Insurance. Amy Fudel alongside the coach, Jim Lineham, and our big man, Mark Jackson. And guys, we talked about you know, Joel Embiid, obviously questionable for this game. He was announced that he would play, despite having that sore left knee that he injured in that Hawks game. So it was nice to get him a little bit of rest in this one, because... They didn't need him. I mean, you always need him. He's the MVP, <laughs> and he really shines when he faces the Wizards. We're going to go over his numbers against him in his career coming up. But you really didn't need him, need him, Mark Jackson. Yeah, you know, I, I think you. We, we've seen, again, Joel's continued dominance versus the Washington Wizards. Maybe he got some thing against the, the D.C. Uh, uniform or whatever. Mm -hmm. But he's totally dominated, and I'm glad that we kept the momentum so he can sit in the fourth quarter and gain some rest. At 34 points, uh, just slightly off of his average against them this year, which was 49 coming into this one, but it uh, <laughs> increases his average overall, Joel Embiid's, against the Wizards. But, Jim, this was an important game for them to obviously assert themselves. Nick Nurse got a look at some rotation guys, and they took care of business easily. Yeah, on a lot of fronts, Aim, I liked uh, the game, uh, particularly at the, from the start. I thought the just the outlook and the approach by the Sixers. They were about business. I thought they guarded uh, right from the start. They turned the uh, Wizards over all night long, or, and as a result, uh, you know, it turned into a kind of coasting, easy victory. There were six Sixers in double figures tonight, and Pat Beverly was one of them. Here he is with Taryn Hatcher. All right, Pat, so you guys get a dominant win. All 15 players get in the scoring column. And the thing that jumped out at me watching the bench at the end of the game is watching you and your teammates go crazy, whether it's a Mo Bamba block or a hard basket for Jaden Springer. How fun are wins like these where everybody can get involved? Yeah, I mean, we got you know everyone healthy, of course. Uh, the first unit came in, played well. Second unit responded. We got guys who haven't played in a long time. They came in, they represented. Today was a good win. And for you, 12 points, three of four from beyond the arc. I know Nick Nurse has been very public in saying, I want Pat to shoot the ball more. I want to see him get in as a scorer as well. We believe in Pat as a scorer. I mean, to have that vote of confidence and go out and perform, what does that mean to you? I mean, it's great. I mean, I've been I've been blessed and fortunate to have a coaching staff with Nick Nurse and his coaching staff. They got a lot of confidence in this group. Obviously, you know, they, they tell me to shoot a ton of shots. I like to stay in the middle of trying to play, play the game the right way, but I guess on this team, I got to shoot more. So um, it's been going in lately, and I've been having fun with it. And finally, I'd be remiss if I didn't ask. You played with a lot of great players. You played against a lot of great players. Joel Embiid tonight, his seventh consecutive game, going 30 and 10. What is different about Joel Embiid? Uh, he different. That, that, that big fella, he different. That's all. He's just a he's he's in a category of his own. You know, respectfully to everyone out there, he's just. He's dominant. He knows how to play the game the right way. He knows how to get to the free throw line. He knows when opponents are scared of him. Like, he, he's just dominant. Well, Pat, thank you for the time. I Congratulations. See you with your heels on, girl. I see you with your I heels know, on. I know. I finally pulled him out. Girl, you look good. I finally pulled him out. Thank you, Pat. Uh, Joel Embiid, you heard him say he's different. You almost can't describe it, and we talk about it a lot. The words that we run out of are obviously incredible, unstoppable, but he really is a force and a guy that needs as little time as he does. And I know Daniel Gafford wasn't in, who has done an admirable job in the previous two games of trying to uh, contain Joel Embiid, but he averages now 44 against his Wizards team. I mean, what can't he do? We see him elevating his game every single aspect really Mark Jackson and we know the the assists are now there his field goal percentage look at this against the Wizards this is 67 percent plus I mean it's remarkable that, that truly is remarkable and that's just pure dominance because no matter how t how bad a, a team may be they're still professionals this right. is the NBA these are the best players in the world on one team and this team you know, Gallinari's getting a piece of Joel. You know, Gaffer's gotten a piece of Joel in previous games. They just have his way. It's unfortunate for the Wizards big guys because they will have nightmares regarding Joel. But it's, we're very fortunate to witness this daily. I mean, there's some, some things that definitely stick out, obviously, Jim, on the stats when you see him against the Wizards. Uh, the 93.5% from the free throw line is obviously something that's always going to stick out when you have a 7-foot center and hitting the free throws at that clip. But the assist at over 6 is something else that sticks out. Yeah, a good, very, I thought, apt phrase by Pat Beverly there. He said he's in a category of his own. And, you know, we, we kind of grasped for superlatives sometimes. That's a pretty simplistic way of describing, to me, Joel to a T. Mm -hmm. A category of his own. You've never seen anybody do what this guy does.
it's it's been fun to watch. We know he's the reigning MVP, um, and anytime he goes down, you do kind of hold your breath. But and he did get a little bit banged up. It looked like out there at one point too. But the good news is that he didn't have to play that much for the Sixers to win by 45 points. It did match the largest margin of victory against the Wizards in franchise history, which is a huge number. But this is not a good Wizards team. How hard is it, Mark, as a player to concentrate and realize you have to keep going, even though the team that you're facing is not that good? You know, Amy, I believe that truly is the important part of it, being mentally mature. Because when you go in there, you, you slight teams, you go in and take them for granted, that's when you get clipped. Mm -hmm. So I think it's very important you go in and say, no matter what their record says, everybody has a puncher's chance. Teams get hot in this league. You know, now, whether way teams, is teams, individuals, and teams are shooting a three, no one's truly out of a mm -hmm. game, no matter how large the deficit, because they always just shoot their way back in with the three ball. So I think it's very important you keep on, you keep on applying pressure, because pressure makes teams forward eventually. Well, let's get Nick Nurse's thoughts on just that. Nick, how satisfying is it when you get the start you guys had, but not only that, but just maintain it throughout the whole, whole game? Yeah, it's good. I think uh, the game the other night against them probably had us, you know, a little, a little focused in, in the practice and the shoot around, and and certainly at the start. Um, and right, the second part of your question is, you, you know, usually in an NBA game you're gonna see this swing back the other way for a while, but our guys just kept kind of playing with with good assertiveness at both ends, um, almost for the whole game. So it's good. After the last game in Washington that you liked the looks that you got from three to start the game, they just didn't fall. What, was it similar today, obviously, and they just did fall, or did you see something else that you were able to kind of um, unlock? Or? Well, I thought, I thought um, um, we played fast tonight. I thought off the stops. I mean, obviously, we got a bunch of stops early, so we were out and in, in, uh, off the defensive rebound. But we were getting up the floor quick, and I thought I think that we were, you know, I think the first three or four came in, tra three of them came in transition, three out of four. Um, so that's good, you know. Um, I think I talked about before the game about getting the ball up the floor, trying to get to the paint, and then getting it out. So it's it was it was good to see. Yep. A couple of weeks ago, we talked about kind of how low the three-point attempt numbers were, and it seems like lately oh, they're way too high tonight. <laughs> we got to cut back on those a little bit. <laughs> so I guess just yeah, what's I mean, it, it certainly seems like there's been a, a concerted effort to uh, to up the volume there. Yeah, I mean, again, I think that um, you know most of the times when when we've talked about it, like two things: one, yeah, it's low. I think we were down there 29th at one point. We we're climbing fast up that ladder. But I think that, um, again, you got to kind of take what's there. And, and you got to take, you know, we, like I said, I would have been more concerned about it if our offensive PPP numbers, you know, they're like in the top three usually, right? So that's a good sign. Your overall number's really high, your efficiency's really high, and our rim attack rate and our free throw rate are really high. So. I think it just comes and goes with how the how to see the game, you know, and what the game presents. Tonight it presented more. They were they were trying to pack the paint, and and you gotta you gotta do what's what's available. Uh, three games back with Kelly, just what are you seeing from him, and what about as far as the progression in his return and things like that? Yeah, I'm pretty happy. I, I thought of the three, this one was probably um, um, third, maybe, but. <laughs> Uh, just again, I think that, you know, he really provides some energy up the floor. He's one of our top cutters. You know, you notice that he gets that, that back door cut or double team cut, you know, once or twice a game. And that's, those are, those are big, you know, when, when they're loading up on the ball and you get a dunk at the basket. So good. And I thought he just, I thought he, I thought he did a lot of things. I thought he, he, he may be forced a couple shots early in the first half a little quick, but other than that, again, what he brings just in overall athleticism, speed and cutting is, is good. And I think he's, looks like he's in shape and in rhythm and okay. Yeah. 
Nick Nurse talking about Kelly Oubre now that he's been back a couple of games after fracturing that rib. Uh, it was a three barrage. Nick Nurse joked maybe that's too many volume, obviously not being serious in that. But as we go to our first timeout, that's, yeah, hear it. Clap your hands, everybody. Sixers get the win. They're third in a row. Third in a row over the Wizards as well. We'll be right back here on Sixers Post Game Live, brought to you by Kyoto Insurance. We're also going to check in on tonight's bell ringer. Chào mừng các bạn đã đến với kênh youtube của mình Và ngày hôm nay mình sẽ review câu chuyện Que tâm thần kỳ được nằm trong cuốn sách Phát triển tư duy Mình xin mời các bạn cùng mình lắng nghe câu chuyện Chào mừng các bạn đã đến với kênh youtube của mình Và hôm nay mình sẽ review câu chuyện Con cá giấy được nằm trong cuốn sách Phát triển tư duy Mình xin mời các bạn cùng mình lắng nghe câu chuyện Chào mừng các bạn đã đến với kênh youtube của mình Và ngày hôm nay mình sẽ review câu chuyện Tấm gỗ không nổi được nằm trong cuốn sách Phát triển tư duy Mình xin mời các bạn cùng mình lắng nghe câu chuyện Chào mừng các bạn đã đến với kênh youtube của mình Và ngày hôm nay mình sẽ review câu chuyện đồng tiền tự rơi Được nằm trong cuốn sách phát triển tư duy Mình xin mời các bạn cùng mình lắng nghe câu chuyện
Chào mừng các bạn đã đến với kênh youtube của mình Hôm nay mình sẽ review câu chuyện Sợi bông uốn tròn được nằm trong cuốn sách Phát triển tư duy Mình xin mời các bạn cùng mình lắng nghe câu chuyện Chào mừng các bạn đã đến với kênh youtube của mình Và hôm nay mình sẽ review câu chuyện khám phá âm thanh được nằm trong cuốn sách phát triển tư duy Mình xin mời các bạn cùng mình lắng nghe câu chuyện